Coda community. My name's Lane and I lead product here at Coda. For those that don't know me, I started at Coda about 10 years ago, uh, back when we could count the number of customers on one hand. Fast forward to today, we have an amazing base of customers and makers who are building uh, their teams, their organizations, uh, and their companies on Coda. And that's a responsibility that we take very seriously. So I really wanna start by saying I'm thankful for all the thoughtful feedback uh, that comes in from all of our makers. Our team watches it very closely, uh, both the positive and the constructive. So thank you for investing your time and energy in Coda. It means the world to us, it really does. And many of you actually gave feedback, very detailed feedback and clear feedback on the beta versions of today's launch. Uh, so that's also exciting. So to start, I wanted to set a little bit of context. I know it's been a minute since we uh, shared uh, some of our plans after the Grammarly acquisition. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to describe why we're making these changes and a little bit more about where we're headed. So since Coda and Grammarly joined forces, we've spent a bunch of time staffing the teams, looking at our respective offerings and audiences, and kind of figuring out where the momentum is uh, to build on. Now, Coda has been the best place to drive teams forward uh, for some years. It's the all-in-one workspace that's enabled uh, millions of people to manage uh, their personal life, their work, uh, exactly how they want. And Grammarly has also established an incredible foundation when, with people in all types of businesses, uh, as well as students, as one of the kind of first AI assistants that actually helps guide your writing uh, and helps you write more confidently. So integrating these two companies was a great moment for us to kind of take a broad step back and return to some of the fundamentals of Coda. Now, among a lot of other ongoing work, um, we felt like it was also an important moment to kind of address a lot of the user experience and product debt that we've built up over the last few years. Now, I know changes uh, to tools that you use every day can be jarring. I definitely get it it's uh it takes time to adjust that muscle memory um, so i want to assure you that this refresh isn't just about changing coda for the sake of change uh, it's really about making the surface feel cleaner and lighter and more intuitive uh, both for those uh, who are experienced makers uh, and those who are simply coming in to collaborate on a dock with their team uh, it's really based on the feedback that we've heard from our customers. We've heard that it can be too difficult to onboard new teammates into the product to collaborate with you, and we want to make this much easier. So overall, our goal here was to make Docs feel faster and easier to work with every day, uh, while also providing the product with a design foundation that can really grow with our broader vision. So this refresh in many ways is a stepping stone. It sets us up to bring some of the most commonly requested and long-standing technical and product investments uh, that we've been working on to the product. So when creating new docs, you'll find a cleaner, less overwhelming starting point. Uh, when you and your teammates use the settings, it should feel less overwhelming, more familiar, uh, and much more approachable. Uh, the navigation should feel faster and more intuitive. Uh, it should kind of get out of your way when you don't need it uh, and should really help you understand where you are at all times in the product. When you navigate back home, the experience should feel lighter and easier to find exactly what you're looking for. So that's a lot, but if you've been following the broader vision of what we're up to, you may have seen Shashir talk about a future where people and agents can actually collaborate side by side to drive outcomes for their teams and their businesses. And that's really where we're headed, to make these docs, your data, these hubs, uh, these applications that are built seamlessly connected. And if you wanna add agents on top of it to drive uh, workflows or outcomes or suggest what's next for you and your team, uh, we're gonna make those available for you as well. So we're building towards this kind of broader vision of an AI native productivity suite. And this UI refresh that we're doing today is really just the first step. Uh, it's building blocks, again, on something much bigger. So thank you for being on this journey with us. Uh, you'll be hearing from me and our team more regularly as we take some of these larger steps. Jump in, uh, explore the new experience, and please keep sharing feedback with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much.